What's up good people? How are you doing? Welcome to story time. Like it's been a minute since I gave you guys one of my stories like Wah, atasikumbuki the last time I did this. On today's video, I'm going to bring you back to two years ago. Yes. So, this is what happened. I don't even know how to title this story, but I'm sure by the time I get to end of it, I'll be able to know how to title it. But it's story time, good people. So, a couple of years ago, I traveled for my birthday and first I would say that um, I usually enjoy traveling alone like especially during my birthday because I get to just sit down and reflect on my life and also come up with things that I feel I can do to make my life better like in terms of coming up with goals and all that so this year that particular year yes I traveled and I went to Dubai yeah so I'm sure I covered a couple of videos when I was in Dubai like I don't even know which one I can tell you to go watch but there are so many that I did and uh, yeah like because I was shooting every single day so that time when I went to Dubai of course I went alone and uh, yeah I went for my birthday and it was one of those trips that I enjoyed and uh, I can't say that it was it's the best trip like I've ever taken but uh, it was one of those nice trips like they, they everything was just different like the experience of course you guys know how people talk about Dubai I mean like that time when I got there it was I felt like I was in a world of course that I've never seen of course yes because it was my first time being there and everything in Kunani Shangaza like I was just amazed by every single thing on that in that city called Dubai and um, yeah like beautiful buildings everything was just good clean fresh other than not that fresh 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 because it was really hot <laughs> like having fresh air yes it was you know but everything was just amazing so during my stay there's a day i went to link up with a friend of mine called brenda and when i linked up with brenda i was going to she she used to work at a place called no an area called gbr that's jumeirah beach yeah so i went there and when I went there, of course, I was going to link up with her. It was my first time going that side. And of course, the fact that I was new in Dubai, there's something that they gave me that when you get to a hotel, they usually give you something just to help you, like a printed map, like will help you to navigate your areas when you're in the city. So yeah, so I used that and I got into Metro train. Then I connected with another train. I can't remember the other name for that particular train, but the small one that goes in to now where you're going closer to which will leave you closer to the beach and when i got there of course i linked up with brenda and uh, yeah so that particular day we went to mcdonald and then we were picking something that we we're gonna eat so we decided to have like a, a mini picnic at the beach because actually the artificial beach was my first time seeing it so anyway that day brenda said she wasn't going to swim so when we were eating we we're just eating and just catching up because you know we used to dance with brenda back when i was dancing in stompers and yeah so she had moved to dubai so anyway so when i went there i decided to really link up so now so we're just catching up on the stories how things have been how my life of course yeah things that are happening in my life then and then i decided to change because hey that beach yani it was just the way dubai people are so organized i don't know if i still have those clips but yeah if i have the clips you'll definitely be seeing them somewhere on the screen but that beach was just beautiful like way clean sun nini and then i learned that it's an artificial beach like it was created because when i was swimming there i could see fish like just in any pita too heavy i mean i swim this side you know like such an amazing experience me i've never experienced such things so that was the first time so anyway i was inside the water swimming by then i mean i was just swimming there then there's this guy this african guy you know when you're in a foreign country and especially where there are so many white people whenever you see a black person you usually feel like ah this one is from home you know like we're from africa so you'll definitely talk to them or maybe they will talk to you they'll try and talk to you so this particular one came and um, started talking to me he was like hi i said hi back so i was just like we're just talking then we started talking i can't remember his name but let me call him um which name which name which name hmm. ah brian <laughs> i'm sorry to the brands but let me just call this guy brian so Brian told me, I mean Brian started telling me stuff about himself, about even the family, 
Like he told me so many things. Bran is actually African, yes. And uh, he told me that he had stayed in Dubai for like, I think six years or seven years. That was his seventh year or something like that. And the siblings are all in either Canada, some are in Australia. You know, like you see the way someone paint this kind of an African person trying to paint the way the families are well, like all over the world, they're exposed, they're living good life, you know, all these things. So this guy just started saying that and that and that. So he told me that the sister was in, I think, Canada. And then he was also thinking of leaving Dubai and then go to Canada and join the sister there. And then he told me that he works, he was working at Emirates Mall with i can't remember the name of the company gosh but in this uh, like an agency kind of i can't remember well but it was he was working in a very good company and uh, he, his position was top management like in top management you go like i think he was a manager for particular department in that company and uh, so he was just talking and talking then he was asking me what do you do then i said what i was doing I, of course i was running my company then like da, 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 the things that i do so we're just talking the normal things then at that time i felt like having a conversation like he looked like someone who understood his industry very well and um, i like talking to people who have something meaningful to say than people who don't have meaningful things to say you know so i was just happy like talking to this person like it was easy talking to them i can't say that because if i get to talk to someone who of course that's what i've said come on to a jijui like you don't know what to say or you're struggling with your words or maybe you're you know like i usually don't entertain that much so anyway this guy seemed like a very wise guy a very like intelligent young man and yeah, so just talking and there was nowhere that talking was going to go seriously like I, I was not seeing it going anyway so just keeping myself busy in this in the in the ocean or rather in that but yeah ocean at the beach so we talked then of course jua inaenda ikipungua it was in the evening so jua inaenda ikipungua and when the sun set so i was like when the sun was about to set i was just like you know what i need to wind up because you still have to go to that was the, the day that we were going to what do you call it? dancing fountain we are going to watch that dancing dancing fountain or dancing fountains that is dancing so that's the day we are going to watch that and i was also going to see the Dubai Aquarium that is also something that I was supposed to do on that day and I wanted to do so I told the guy that by the way us guys are I need to go change so that we can start moving so after changing the guy came to join us so I introduced the guy to Brenda and then of course yeah we started chatting now we were walking we wanted to go to the train station but we passed a place whereby there are big this big dolls I don't know how to explain like how to call that particular place but usually in the malls you find places where people are competing like you try to score like on a basketball and then you win something like a teddy bear so i love teddy bears i still have freedom right here you remember freedom for those who've been here longer you know freedom yeah so i still have freedom right here so i love dolls like i mean not dolls but i love teddy bears so the guy was like um let's play like he was go you pay and then you get to play so he he paid the first round for us paid the second round for us paid the third round for us then we went from one game to another to another i don't know how they call those places gosh you miss a how ah i don't know but yeah so we did myself and brenda just playing and the guy was just paying paying and paying and i was like okay you want to pay pay we finally left like he took us to the train station because we said i oh, know we just have to hurry because he was saying that oh first we go to his place I don't know somewhere because he lives close to the somewhere closer to the emirates mall and i know living in dubai is quite pricey and uh, like accommodation in dubai is something so when you live right next to the mall i'm sure you must know how to you know yeah so he told me that he lives right next to the mall emirates mall and i was like okay so anyway so he went to the house in the process of course we exchanged numbers because i was still going to be in dubai the next day I think the next day was my second last day in Dubai. So I was going to stay the day after and then the day after that day I was going to travel back. So of course I had plans for my last day. There's something that I was going to do. So anyway, the guy took my number. So myself and Brenda proceeded to the uh, Dubai mall and went for the water whatever, dancing fountain and the rest. So the next the next day 
he kept on calling me oh my god he called over and over and over i don't know there's something i was doing either i left my phone in the room i went for breakfast or something like the next day in the morning like he called me like i think five times until it was so annoying then he kept on chatting one message after the other and by the way if you get if i just met you and then you keep texting me like that most of the time i just like i'll either block you because why do you send me so many messages like that like hey babe you start calling me babe i'm not even your babe you here babying me and then i was like what the hell is wrong with this guy like do people text like this and of course you know guys like me is a jiku feature so i mean like i don't know how to hide these things like i was just questioning the guy like what the hell is wrong with you like why do you send me 10 messages why do you call me 10 times if you call me once or twice and you realize that i've not answered your call you leave a text and then i call you back when i come and pick when i see when i pick my phone and see that you tried calling me he kept on texting and texting and asking that oh no you you why are you why are you not talking to me oh da, da, da. oh by the way he's from Cameroon like he told me that he's from originally from Cameroon but has been living in Dubai and da 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 da, da. so ah then you know all this time he was texting he was trying to ask me so that we can meet like he was ready to come to the hotel where I'm staying and I was like my it's, it's my last day here so I'm trying to do everything because the next day I was going to travel so of course I had activities that I was going to do on that particular last day so anyway he texted he texted then later on i was just like you know what since you're insisting so much so i told him to come the day that i was leaving because i was going to travel to leave the hotel around maybe 10 ish because my flight was around one so around 10 is when i was going to leave the hotel where i was staying so i told him now that next day that okay fine i'm back in the hotel because i was going also to buy some things that i didn't buy that last day so i, was, I told i told him that i'm back in the hotel so if you want to come you come so i sent the location of where i was staying then yeah so by the time he was coming he went to the reception and asked for me and then he was told where i am so they called me in my room and then i was like just tell him to hold on down there so when i went down there of course i was not planning to bring this guy to my room never so anyway i mean it's like i usually bring them but well <laughs> but yeah so when you got down there so he kept on talking talking and talking then i could not hold it anymore and let me explain how he came let me just pick put this create this picture in your head so when he got there he was wearing a t-shirt which i don't i'm sorry if this might come out badly but um <laughs> but yeah so when he, when I, when I when I went there and saw him he was wearing shorts you know those silk shorts the ones that guys wear when they wake up in the morning when you're just chilling in your house he was wearing i think a gray silk shorts maybe my fashion sense is in a chapa but anyway he was wearing a brown no not a brown but a gray silk shorts with some blue stripes up iv and then he had some um sneakers not so nice sneakers by the way i'm sorry to say and then add some socks reaching here mm. there's a way i know like i understand fashion kidogo so i know how someone will be stylish when it comes to wearing like that and then he had a t-shirt on so where to me how he looked like if this was actually a date is someone who just who just come from playing football in a local playground and they're just back home you know yeah and uh, i'm sorry if kuna watu nina attack lakini kuna vile pia you also have to have your standards when you're going when someone is telling you that they're coming to take you out on a date dress the part man just just look nice just don't come like you're just from playing football in a local playground pale unakuja hata mimi hujaribu jamani like i try you know so you also just try so anyway because i was not interested much in this guy so we went upstairs to the there's a the restaurant was i think on the second floor so we went there and uh ordered for food of course he said that he wasn't going to eat so he was just going to get maybe something to drink and again he changed his mind and said that he'll just buy for me because yeah so i was like where is it the type that wanna say manga hivo kwa sababu either the bill is so it's too high or something like i didn't want to think about it anyway so that day went like that of course uh, time was moving and then i just told the guy then thank you so much for coming nini nini to cut the long story short 
I came back to Nairobi to the Ashana app, of course, I came back to Nairobi and then two weeks later, guess who texted me? He did. He texted me and said, of course, during that time, it wasn't, we weren't even chatting. Like, Mimi, Nizile, that number had already, boom, disappeared. I didn't even save it. Like, I was just, you know, ile to, yeah, so... <laughs> So he texted me then he said that oh I'm so and so we met in Dubai at the beach da da da, da and I really need your help. So I was like help? Help? Okay. So I say okay and then I replied and say and said hey hey how are you like yeah I'm uh, good to hear from you so how can I help you? Then he said that I need about 1500 USD that's like about a hundred about let's say 150,000 Kenya shillings so he needed about 1,000 in 1,500 USD from me like if I could send to him because he was going through something and something happened with the salary and da 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 so I was like okay we met at the beach once you came to the hotel then I saw you the second time and then of all the people, of all the people you're connected with, it's only me. Now, I was asking, I wasn't asking him, I was just asking myself. This guy, I remember in that water, when I was swimming, when we were swimming, he kept on saying the way he has sisters living in Canada, how oh, he came from this family in Cameroon, oh, the dad lives in London, oh, this, this, that, oh, this, this, Australia, oh, that. He works in the top management company, he's, the, he's among the top management people. He's, so I was like, what happened to all these people? Like, why? Why would you ask for money from this chick that you just met the other day? And uh, I'm like, Maybe people go through stuff and they felt like I was the one who could save them, maybe. Yeah, so <laughs> after that, I don't know how long this story is, but it is story time and story times tend to be long. So guys, I'm just finishing. Yeah, so when I saw that, I just responded back and said that um, I am very, very sorry. Unfortunately, I'm not in a position to, to give you that particular amount of money. So he said, then he started talking badly like, ah, you can't even help your friends, da 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 da, what is wrong with you, why can't you help me, I'm in need, da 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 da, then I was like, ah yeah, kwa ni tulisha kwa my best friends hapa, like, eh, Ooh? how? So, when that happened, I spoke to a friend of mine called Belet. So I asked Belet, Belet is a friend of mine, yes, so he's a guy, so I asked Belet that, what because i think that is the second time i was experiencing something like that like someone i just randomly met asking me for money then belet had belet told me that this is what people do nowadays some men do it nowadays like whenever you travel then they spot you they see that this chick is well organized da, 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 da. maybe they have ka ching ching and i can get something from them and the people who live like that in dubai like that is what they do like they spot you doing something then let's say let's say uh, if this guy was really looking good and had fallen for him, you know, like yani alikuwa na katu vizuri, ananukia vizuri, anaongea vizuri, anafanya, you know, I would have maybe given the guy money if let's say I had some money to spare, like I would have given the guy money and maybe that is what they just, Bella told me that that is what some people do to survive, so since you didn't like the guy and the fact that maybe you told the guy maybe he got it from someone else they do that and they get the money and that's how they live and then when they meet people because you see in the beginning we already like painted this picture that is well off like he comes from a very well off family and you know that this is someone who can actually if you give them money they'll be able to return it back to you and uh, yeah so i was just kind of i was i didn't know that such people existed until i experienced it and then after now sending the message to this guy uh, and uh, after abusing me i didn't reply back i just blue ticked and then i think the next thing he did was delete my number because i didn't see the picture anymore and that's how it went and it's so sad like there are people who could actually fall for such people and be able to just part with money like that so please whenever you're traveling alone i know traveling alone is usually very fun but sometimes it can be really risky so whenever you travel alone or whenever i travel alone i usually just have my sixth sense with me like when you send something like this you know this is not good you just cut it kabisa yani 
yeah so that was my experience and that is the story that i wanted to give you guys so if you're planning to travel alone next time when you meet such random people who the next thing they do is ask you for money kata by the way unless you have you don't want it to be returned back if you feel like you can help someone help them but yeah don't expect it to be returned back to you so anyway good people that is the end of this story again thank you so much for watching if you've gotten here and you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly do by pressing on that amazing lady popping right there and until next time good people kisses to you